Hey Love Bucks, I have an Audi candle haul for you and one Audi find. I'm not going to try to be that long because I have a lot of empties since we haven't been having... Well, Audi has been having a little dry spell on the candles. I think the only time you can really get candles are the ones that they had left over that were on clearance. Didn't get any of those. Actually, I didn't see any of those. So, But I did get the new release ones and I got a lot of empties. So I wanted to share that with you. So I'm going to do my best to... I'm going to go ahead and start with the ones that they have now that's out this week okay have them in a bag that i carry them in because you know they kind of cling together to be honest as i was getting them out the, the car today i honestly thought i broke one but okay let's start with this collection here these are the three wick and regular uh four dollars and what is it 29 cent candles um, so the first one is the Neroli in white sand, no notes, but it looks like this. This is the packaging on it. It smells really nice, really nice and clean. So of course it's the white wax three wick. I hope it burns, not burns well, but I hope it throws well because it's it's light. You can smell it, but it's a, it's it's a light one. So I might put this one under the warmer because I do like the way it smells, even though it's a light, a light fragrance one. This one is Bamboo Garden. Giving me gardenia and bamboo. And a very light, sweet scent. So I hope this one is a throw. I do like um, all these gardenia scent. Uh, all these candles have allowed me to appreciate gardenia and candle scent. Um, but I like theirs. This one is grape, fruit, and sea salt. I have no idea why I thought I had this one. Or maybe it's a repackage of something that they had before. But they have this one. This one is light as well. It smells sweet, but I personally, I honestly, I don't get grapefruit. I just don't. I just get a really light, sweet citrus ending note. But it, grapefruit is what it is, grapefruit. It doesn't smell like grapefruit. Now, that is a bad thing, but sometimes I can appreciate the candle say grapefruit and sea salt. I'm getting grapefruit and sea salt. This one is Lake Shore Sunset. This is the one I was excited about because it looks different, sounds different. They have have had a lot of, I'm sorry, Lake Shore scent candles from Aldi, but not like Sunset. Mm, this one is nice. It smells better in the lid. <laughs> it smells like a really nice body care, but... This is that. Now, out of this collection, the Lake Shore Sunset is my favorite. And yeah, out of that collection. Now, this is the collection I love to see when it comes in. This one, and I've talked about it before. This one is the Comforting Soy Blend. This one is Peppermint Tea Treat and Rosemary. I love a good herbal collection honey but i love when they have the black candle um the throw is amazing it's really to me like the luxury candles to me because the throw and it's just really nice oh my gosh like this is so loud so if you guys are not like uh, on this collection and you, you, it just get this one get these i love when they come out with the black candles like because you're usually in for a treat and it smells like what I usually say on the on the packaging and I love the packaging that rosemary I love rosemary so love it so this one is comforting oh my gosh it tastes like lemongrass I mean tastes like it smells like lemongrass it's like a strong citrus lemongrass even though it says peppermint tea tree and rosemary I get lemongrass. This one, like one of my lids came off and I put it on the wrong one. <laughs> this one is called Stimulating. Oh, this is great for like a really nice soaking. Ooh, I love these candles. I love the packaging. So this one is uh, 
geranium, lavender, and cedarwood. Mm, I love lavender with something else. I, you just can't give me lavender by itself. And this is how big it is. Um, I'm trying to... Oh, it's a 14-ounce candle as well. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to make room. And the last one, I wish they came out with four, but they only came out with three. This is Rejuvenating Lemongrass. Okay, so, yeah, I knew I had my lids mixed up because, again, remember I was telling you I was taking this stuff out the car and some of the lids were coming off. So, on this one, on the... Peppermint, teacher, and rosemary. Got the wrong lid on there. This lid belongs on there. On uh, this one. Lemongrass, eucalyptus, and mint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the one. I love that eucalyptus. Mm, this is so nice. Love the packaging on this one, too. Really nice. I wish they had four. <laughs> Make it like the other ones. I love that collection. Um, Yeah. I just love that collection. Okay, so let's start with the empties. I'm going to try not to be long. Okay, so remember the character candles that they had? This one was called Thank You Next. These were all, like, this one was clearance. This was like $2 or a dollar at the time. I think they were going for i don't even remember like seven no t maybe ten dollars and then it go down to seven but i got these for two a while back this one was light you could smell it but it was light probably would have done a whole lot better maybe under the warmer i didn't put it under the warmer because the other one that i burned with the guy on it the one that gave me the bath and body works dupe it was his was like a mahogany teak wood it did great just by lit lighting it. So I thought I was going to have the same experience with this. So if you have this and haven't burned it yet, do it under the the, the uh, lamp. Under your wax warmer. Or I'm a candle warmer. I'm sorry. Um, but I did like it. But it was just a light thrower. And I, I really would have enjoyed it if it was under my candle warmer. This is Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum, I really wanted more from you. It was really light. It was light. I wanted more of a stronger throw this probably would have done better on the, the candle warmer um i do a lot of my candles not on the warmer if that uh, i do it on the warmer in one room and light it in the other one so that's why you're getting two different reviews so i kind of tell you what my my experience was on the, a particular candle and how i used it whether that was lighting it or under the candle warmer wild dunes I think this one did okay. This one did great, actually. Really nice. Um, this one didn't have any any notes, so but it smelled good. Sunset, citrus, and coconut. It started off really good, right? But then I noticed maybe on like the second time burning it, it started giving me a kerosene type of scent undertone that I didn't really care for so I don't know if it's because sometimes the that coconut or citrus those candles are kind of tricky sometimes because I don't know because they're trying to mimic or put in a certain it gives off kerosene sometimes spring irish love this oh my gosh this did beautifully beautifully I really enjoyed it. It was a really nice, clean, really nice springy um, scent. Really nice candle. Like, it lit up my whole house. And this lid smells so relaxing. Like, I want that in body care because it smells so relaxing. That did really good. Uh, peach, and I'm sorry, pear blossom and citron was a very bright, a bright scent. I like bright scents. Um, it did okay. And let's see, Pickery Pear Cactus was not my favorite. It's just, oh, it had a funny scent, like it was different. And I do like different because sometimes it gives you, once you burn, a totally different experience. And if they had this on clearance, I, I wouldn't get it. I just didn't care for it. It just wasn't my thing. So, yeah, 
I mean, but they, again, all these candles burn well and clean. That's what I love about it. But the Pickery Pear Cactus was not my favorite. Uh, it didn't do anything for me. It threw, but it didn't do anything for me. Garden Rain, I loved it. I loved it. Absolutely enjoyed it. Absolutely enjoyed it. And Cabana Linen was great. It was like the perfect candle to burn because I was spring cleaning and cleaning and I love a good clean scent candle. Perfect to go with my cleaning experience and it did just that. So I really enjoyed the Cabana Linen. I really did. So I loved it. Also, I had the Happy Mother's Day. These did uh, these did well. They were really like citrus bright candles. So that was cool. I think this was like the grapefruit everyone was talking about. Mm hmm. Now, this one smells like grapefruit. I get grapefruit in this one instead of the new released one that says grapefruit and sea salt. Um, no, not at all. There's no grapefruit in that candle. But this one is really bright. This one is really nice. If you like a citrus or group from scent that mother's day candle did that white cactus and sage this candle reminds me of a bath and body, bath and body works um body care it did it's nice i like this candle it did well too mm -hmm. it gave me melon i got a lot of melon from this candle bright melon and i loved it really nice i enjoyed that candle and I have white, no, I'm sorry, yeah, white peach cobbler. Uh, mm, it burned. I didn't get the, it was cool. Um, I'm smelling the lead. It was not bad, but it, it wasn't rememberable, should I say. I think it probably started off good and then kind of fizz out after a while that's probably when that should have um probably changed it to the warmer tobacco petals i wanted so bad for this uh, it just sounds like a strong throwing candle i got absolutely no scent out of it i don't know if it was just um a bad one because usually with tobacco you're going to get a throw you're going to get that tobacco Oh my God, the lid smells so good. That's why I had so much hope for it. <laughs> it does. The child, when I lit it, because that's exactly what I did. I lit it. Because I figured I don't need to put this under the warmer because of tobacco. And I got nothing. Nothing at all. So but this one was disappointing. Now, if you guys had a different experience with your tobacco petals, please let me know. Because if you guys had a better experience and I see this again, I would like to get it because it smells so good on cold. Like... It smells really nice. Sea salt and bergamot did good. I enjoyed it. I sure did. And I enjoyed going through my candles too. And my only find, this is my last thing, uh, are the hers um, buffalo blue cheese um, flavored cheese curls. I actually saw these. Um, in a smaller bag at um, the Dollar Tree. Now I went back and forth because I don't like blue cheese. Um, it just does. But I saw the buffalo and I saw the packaging, and I tried it, and it tastes like really nice Cheetos, um, cheese puffs with a buffalo kind of, you know, like buffalo um, with a little heat. Not, it's not hot, but. I was really impressed with them. So I saw these at the bigger bag at Aldi and I picked up the bigger bag. So these were like $2 and some change. So that's the end of my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm so glad you guys stopped by. Um, I wanted to just share something um, on my channel. Usually I just do my haul and I'm gone, but there's been so much happening in the world that has been weighing heavy on me. Um, the Texas shooting, with the children and the teachers, uh, also um, the African Americans that were sh just shot up and targeted um, in the grocery store. Like the world we live in is just sometimes could be uncertain. And it can so easily be one of us. We go to Aldi all the time, we, we go shopping and we, you know, take our children to school. All I'm do asking as you all to just pray. You know, um, just pray for those people 
the families and because it's just sad. It, it, it's really sad. Like, it's so unfortunate and it could be so easily one of us or someone that we know. It really could. So if you're a love bug and you know how I love, then you know this didn't sit well with me. Um, so I will continue to pray for those families Oof. and just I'm praying for you guys as well. When I get new subscribers, I pray for you. I pray for my subscribers. I don't have to know you personally. I pray for you all. I love you all. You guys take care of yourself and be blessed. Talk to you later. Bye.